Hey guys, so uh, I wanted to have a closer look here at the Sony Xperia Z5 Premium, checking out the display technology as well as some of the features you'll find on this uh, beast of a device. Uh, we do have uh, some other handsets as well that I wanted to compare it against to check out the, how the display fares. Uh, obviously, I'm sure you're aware that in day-to-day -day usage to keep the battery good, uh, it kind of defaults to the full HD resolution, so like when you're just looking at your apps or opening up basic stuff, uh, you will see like uh, like basic uh, kind of uh, re resolution, but nevertheless I've found that just using the device like day to day and comparing it against the uh, Z5, which is its uh, little brother, uh, to me the display looks a little bit sharper here. Uh, even in like uh, normal mode, you can see maybe from these icons, uh, we can see uh, like uh, how they look. Uh, I do have it on the uh, X Reality display technology, uh, so that uh, you can also put on the vivid mode. Uh, but I wanted to test out the uh, how the display looks when watching content, uh, so that's uh, basically why I've kept it on the X Reality for now. Uh, the other area as well which I've noticed it looks very nice is in terms of these interactive kind of widgets here. Uh, if we have a look, if we zoom in, yeah, you can see a uh, lot of uh, detail here when it comes to the colours etc. Uh, which is nice and that is uh, pretty good here. Uh, obviously uh, we do also have the Note 5 as well which is coming with a uh, 2K display and uh, you know I think a lot of comparison are going to be drawn up between these two which has the best display obviously you get your AMOLED uh, blacks here and things like that but on first look I think that uh, the display on the Z5 Premium is very competitive here you can see the colours are very nice and you know uh, very rich as well uh, maybe the Note 5 display does get a little bit brighter, you can see a slight difference there in terms of the luminosity uh, but we can also have a look at the like a movie as well which I have loaded on both of them in fact this is the stock movie that you get with the Z5 Premium and I've loaded it onto Note 5 as well so hopefully we can uh, compare how they look here, it's called Xperia HD and we can, whoa have a look to see how they look here. I have had to mute this uh, on both of them because you know there's royalties and all that for these things so uh, maybe we can get them both going here. It's a nice area. So this is where the 4K should come into effect. So we're just going to uh, start them both off here. And maybe you can see a difference, who knows. We will keep it going for a moment. Nevertheless, if even if you know you can't see a difference, you can't uh, disagree that both of them have absolutely beautiful displays here. Uh, you can see a lot of detail in both of them. Uh, very good black levels as well. You can see, like uh, you know, not you can't barely see the bezel here, which is good. Uh, but the Note 5's display is still fantastic. You know, it's uh, among the best still, even though it's just 2K. Uh, but maybe Samsung might need to step it up to 4K to remain competitive here for the Note 6. And I think that's about it for this little movie, which was 4K. You can see it looks absolutely beautiful on both of them. Uh, but, you know, as I said, I will be doing some more comparisons here with uh, the Note 5, because it's obviously its main competitor here. Uh, very, f very premium devices. I think the first thing I have noticed with this uh, glossy back, uh, you can see you will need like a cloth or something to keep it looking good. In fact, I'm going to give it a little uh, clean off now because we don't want to make it look nasty. <laughs> but I definitely think that you will need like a, a cloth here, same as the Note 5, which has uh, the same kind of stuff here, lots of fingerprints. 
so that's what you'll need basically to buff it down every now and again. Uh, in terms of the actual user interface, very similar to the Z5 normal. I've been having a look at the uh, the audio settings to see if we can see anything like different here. So if we go into that, you can see. I think we're getting pretty much the same kind of things here, like your DSEEHX, uh, your sound effects as well. Uh, so that's all in there. And your S Force front uh, surround as well, which is very nice. And you can uh, as well check out the uh, accessory settings if you have like a speaker or something. I think some retailers, like where I am, are selling a uh, set of headphones with this device as well as a speakers but you have to be quick to get that bundle and uh, also we do have the uh, camera as well which is 23 megapixel and uh, you know I'm very uh, excited here looking forward to seeing what this can do uh, maybe it'll be quite similar to the Z5 I don't think there's a huge difference in terms of the actual optics uh, but I do notice it does take shots very nice and quick, and I have and I have uh, changed the resolution obviously to the highest amount and kept it on uh, the auto for now. Uh, you do get a lot of different settings you can put on as well, such as your 4K etc. So that's all in there, uh, and uh, other things obviously I've been looking at is the themes as well, you can put a theme on uh, such as mint, dark blue etc or your uh, just the uh, randomizer which is like the uh, I think uh, live wallpaper so that is pretty nice uh, wow this is a weird colour uh, but you know I think uh, really I'm really looking forward to checking out the performance here by the way, I have installed the latest update uh, with the uh, Z5 Premium. It came down just as I logged in uh, to the Wi-Fi, so uh, there's no real lags or stutter or anything when going back and forth into something. It's, you can see very nice here in terms of the performance. So yeah, you know, I uh, think uh, going to leave it there for this video. In fact, let's just check out the Super Vivid mode see how that looks so it looks quite nice as well uh, you know uh, I think uh, it probably gives you slightly better like colors here when it comes to the super vivid but I'm probably going to leave it on the X reality just for now and uh, so it can have some nice accurate colors uh, but yeah I hope you enjoyed this little video here checking out the display on the Z5 premium do stay tuned for some more videos and like the video if you did like it, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.